Welcome back to Firewatch. So, we're kicking off just after discovering that Wapiti Station is just a bit, bit of a well-known place, apparently. Just not to us. And that's what we're going to be delving into the mystery of today. So it's forward here, and we are back in action. So yeah, let's uh, check the map. Where are we? We are down at the scout camp. So where we're headed is right back up to Wapiti Station, all the way over there. So we've basically got to head back over the route that we came through. And yeah, head up to Wapiti. So we've got our axe now. I wish I could hold it in my hand. Because if it was down to me, I would not let that thing go. <laughs> Long drop. Oh yeah, of course we've got to find our way up, haven't we? Alright, cool. Sure, there's a way through the uh, through the little camp. There's bound to be something down there anyway. Hmm. Maybe not. Ah, oh, unless we can go across the top. Oh, probably not. No, definitely not. All right. Well, first things first. Let's find our way through. So you'd think this would be the easy bit. But yeah, we have still got a missing person about as well. So I'm sure there's a way that you can view documents. No, apparently not. Okay, here we go. And a nice little tree we can chop down. That's what we like to see. Easy tiger. No, right, let's get hey let's get moving. I, I I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right. No. So, uh, tell me what you think of this. Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Well, what about when I heard you talking to someone else? I just left your line open. That's not what this is. Get in your tower. Shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Okay. Quite a spooky little start. Imagine. This would literally be my worst nightmare. Ooh. Getting goosebumps. <laughs> Day 77. Fair Tower, this is Two Forks calling. Ah, oh, the fire's still the, burning. Oh, 50th time today. The June fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. <laughs> Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? You can do me for a trip out of here. Why are you so chipper? Sleep a wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sunup. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. What a day this <laughs> day we've been given. Maybe I am actually asleep <laughs> right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is. I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower. It is indeed. What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. There's a little bit of code in there somewhere, you know, isn't there? Have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Come sure. on. It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me, just, um... 
Internalize it. it. It's a great tree. And there's an area called um, that tree's name in your sector that oh, maybe you okay. should take a Crafty. day hike to. Maybe. Oh. Oh. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell you. All right, where are Radio we going? The moment you get there. Cottonwood. Where are you? Cottonwood Creek. There we go. Big tree. Nice. Um, yeah, let's make a move. Let's grab our bag and head out of here. June fire is still burning. Whoa, the June fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not going to try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Alright, where do I head from here? Go to Karma Creek. We're on the wrong path. Wonderful. I should really just follow the compass south. Yeah. Is this going to be my way of showing everyone that I am awful at orienteering? No. <laughs> We're actually on to something. Let's head south. So yeah, it's starting to get a bit spooky. It's starting to get a bit cryptic. So I really just want to head up to Wapiti Station and cut that lock off and head through there. But I don't think that's going to be an option anytime soon, which sucks. So I'm, I'm getting itchy. If it's me, I'd have to know. Well, I'll say that. I'd probably brick it and sack it off for the summer. Which I think is completely reasonable. Alright, um... Pretty much just coming back the way we came. <laughs> just got stuck in the corner of the rock. Nice. Alright, there's got to be a big old cottonwood tree. This is probably how on earth he's watching us. As opposed to just listening. Creek, yeah, we're on the right path. And the right track. Is that it? It's got to be it. Looks pretty dead compared to the picture, but... Maybe it's just the wrong time of year. Oh, here we go. How far are we going? Maybe there's something in the cache that she wants us to see. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? There we go. Uh, it must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's five six seven eight. <laughs> are you kidding me? I was in a rush. <laughs> Let's get the map information. It's quite a crafty little, uh, crafty idea, this. Oh, probably shouldn't report that. Glad we're on the same page. I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger. Hmm. And hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry, we have to get into that site. Yes, she's on my side. Whatever these people are doing is uh, illegal, right? I'm gonna ask her if she's okay. Probably I freaking know, out. Henry. People have been listening to us all summer. How is this actually happening? I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm scared. What about the other lookouts? other lookouts this is happening to someone else in on this anyone <sighs> this is just happening to us everyone else is fine <laughs> are you sure yes i've tried to bring it up to chimney rock elks fork and beartooth lookout and every one of them got confused asked me if i'm okay and if i need to be relieved 
<laughs> fucking stay cool Fair enough. asked if I was just having lady troubles. So no, this isn't happening to anyone else and I'm done asking. Um, got a phone analysis. Now that I've got an axe, we'll know something soon. You need to get into that site. Call me when you find something. Oh, is it time? Are we finally going back? I'm itching to get up there. I really am. Tell you what, this game is gorgeous. So I just walk through it. I could walk through this all day. Do you know what I mean? Put some music on. Dreamy. Absolutely dreamy. Let's keep on heading up. Hey. Uh I just Here we thought go. Of something not um not great. What is it? I filed a report that said that Neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. Oh, she's meant to say. Oh, shit. My thoughts exactly. Yeah. Oh, of course, yeah, so trapped. And now, someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Which is not good. Fuck, Delilah. Fuck, indeed. <laughs> we really need to get to the bottom of this. Sack off those transcripts while we're at it. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm awful at orienteering. Is what I've decided from this game. So I sort of know, uh... No, a few landmarks or whatever, but awful. So I'm sort of just wandering about in circles, hoping for the best, and it's sort of working, sort of taking forever. So I'm sort of jumping in cats of nice little exploration bits, as opposed to watching the whole journey and uh, wasting 20 minutes just wandering around. <laughs> just going backwards on myself, but that's fine. So I, I I can I can do those bits. Yeah, we're going down. Lovely. Hopefully, Cripple Gulch doesn't try to cripple us again. Still waiting to see a guy just pop up right at the top. One day it'll happen. Whoever's watching us here just peek over, won't he? We go over the top of that cliff. Alright, let's keep moving. <coughs> Heading back down to the first river. That's when we get some real spooky stuff and they just sat in the middle. Nah. Not this time. No radios either. Nice. Oh, got a weird little save there. Maybe something spooky is going to happen. Um, oh yeah, we want to go round, don't we? Want to go round. We're almost there. Making good progress. Here we go. Here's our little chain link fence. Where's the gate? So I can definitely break my way in there now. How's he gonna do it? Front of the axe or the back? I'm busting the gate down. There's nobody around and it's the quickest way in. Copy. Oh. Bit different to how I would have done it. Smashed open the gate. Should I try to fix or hide this? No, it's pretty. Okay then.
Well, for the station pass now. If you're trying to reach Dr. Simmons, he is on site from August 15th to October 15th. University owned equipment is the responsibility of Dr. Joson. Government owned equipment is under the purview of Cat Ferdinand. Remember, this is a controlled area and not any issues. Ah, this is a controlled area and any issues, malfunctions, or violations should be reported immediately. Thank you, ma'am. I'm going to keep hold of that. I got stung by a bee. Aww. Okay. Is, is that it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did, it, did it hurt? Yes, kind of. Okay, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a bit creepy down there, a bit eerie. It's these trees. So you he picked the worst time to go down there, didn't he? Just as the sun set. Ah, oh, generator. Nice. It's running. Okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. D, there is some serious comms equipment out here. Wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20-foot tall transmission tower. Uh, they can probably listen to whoever the hell they want. Ooh. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. Now they're doing something with the soil out here too. It's all gridded off. Uh, who knows what else they're up to? <laughs> Tons of stuff. There's all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? Dishes and stuff on metal legs. There's <laughs> wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really up on high tech. Um, how did I, I get, get this out? Get all this stuff out here. The Army Corps of Engineers put our towers out here, so. Yeah, fair enough. You think it was the government? I have no idea. <laughs> I, I just mean it's possible. I mean, every once in a while I'll meet a lookout who's deep into that, like, black helicopter conspiracy shit. Maybe they actually flew it out here in one of those. Imagine. I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's Spooky. Definitely some sort of monitoring station. A wave receiver. I think I found the thing they used to track us. Oh, of course, yeah. Oh, pick shit. up frequencies, wouldn't it? You know, you swear, like, a lot. Not the time, Hank. <laughs> anyway, it's called a wave receiver. Looks like it picks up anything that emits a signal. It's got basic orienteering capabilities, everything. Holy... Holy shit, Henry. Yeah, holy shit. You're gonna take it, right? Of yeah. course. Um... Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What, what's it after? Barometer? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. I found their main monitoring desk. You should get out before they come back. Okay. Shit. Got a map here that confirms they're tracking my... our... people's movements. The map's got all sorts of paths and areas marked off on it. There are lines that look like Move some of the paths I normally take. Are you positive it's you? I'm not sure, but I think so. Subject beacon frequent sex social role. A lot of numbers. Everyone's behaviors consult previous data. Um, precipitated desire for copulation, conflict with other males, disproportionate food intake. I'm assuming that's nothing. But I'm gonna keep it. There's a box here with a dial. It has a needle, like it measures earthquakes. You mean like a lie detector? Yeah, I'm not sticking around to get hooked up to it. What's that say? <laughs> you heart wyoming. Alright, let's go find that beeping. I'm assuming it's... Oh no, it will be inside somewhere, wouldn't it? I can't figure out what. Ah, of course. This thing is responding to something in this there we go. Crap on the desk. Dig through it. <laughs> so weird. Are you shitting me? Well, at least now he knows. There's a folder of reports here. What do they say? 
their assessments about the two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus! Henry, do you hear me? You have a boyfriend, Javier? Oh. What the fuck? Wish you hadn't left that out. <laughs> I don't. I I didn't. This is insane. I'm Get so rhythm. sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. Think about yes. it. Yes. Yeah. Fuck them. Oh, I'll have a good fire. Of water on it, and these assholes will spend the rest of the summer picking up the pieces. We get to finish out our contracts. <laughs> Hell, we'll even call in the fire. Yeah, okay. You don't sound too excited about that. I'm not. <laughs> Look, worst case scenario... A ton of food. Far, far the dies. Firefighter dies trying to put out what we started, and we live with that on our conscience for the rest of our lives. <sighs> Yeah. Worst case. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. It's not the worst idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Ah, uh, so fucking wound up. It's all right. I'm just gonna hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. Okay, that's never good, is it? Heading back to where we came from. I'm definitely gonna be on the way. Generator's still on. Always a good sign. God, man. How weird is that? Could you imagine? Random things I haven't even... I haven't even spoke about. Just cropping up. Cool. Yeah, rather than me. Well, I guess we're not going back that way. There's smoke coming from the site. I, mean, I just climbed out <laughs> there and the bridge collapsed. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. That's <sighs> even weirder. Uh, what do we do? Call it in. We just call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? I can't see them? it. Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around <laughs> us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yeah. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. Day 77, same day. Spooky. Spooky, spooky. Interesting. Who is watching us? Oh, he's got all the notes in there. That's cool. So that's who I'm worried about. This little missing person. I feel like he's gonna flare up at some point. This receiver just picked something up. Like a signal? It's going beep beep. <laughs> yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. Alright, I'm on my way now. You know what I just picked up? Uh no. A fifth of Major Bueno Tequila from the creek. Oh. Are you drunk? <laughs> no! I am getting drunk! <laughs> good girl. Good plan. I'm a good planner. <laughs> my thinking is I could stay up all night worried I'm going to lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. Yeah, it's not like good plan. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is, I'm gonna follow this wave receiver. Ooh, I like it when you think. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. <laughs> I'll just leave you alone. Oh, definitely heading the wrong are. way. I think we're getting the right path. We gotta be close. 
Why is he walking backwards? Oh man. Oh no. Maybe put that down. There we go. What? Okay. What's going on? Turn those girls, is it? B, I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, and basics. But it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? She's yeah, Sean. K452. Oh. There's also Ooh. a set of keys here. I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? No, it's the one in the canyon. Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. <laughs> Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire has them spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Yeah, fair enough. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you. Wonderful. It is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. Killing a missing person. Oh, I would chop the tree down. I should have done this earlier. Come on. Keep the torch off. Come on, fella. Get your axe out. I don't see anyone up here. She was just there. Wonderful. Left a cassette player taped to my damn door. Uh, I ah, it's gonna be the to say to that. Well, conversation. See what's on it. Wonderful. Right. Of us talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. <laughs> no. D, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh, my God. What the fuck is happening, Henry? They're not the smartest puppies, are they? <laughs> Being tracked for 78 days and they still haven't learned to not say things on the radio. God. to be okay. We haven't done anything wrong. Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Uh, Wonderful. So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. <laughs> Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. Yeah. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here. And if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's going to be in handcuffs. Wonderful. Us. We just stick together. We have to stick together. Okay? Keep our story straight. From the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we got to be honest and consistent. 
Yeah. Okay, where are we right. going? North? North. Where's North? Little compass. This way. It's not going to be directly this way, but more or less. Hopefully I can hop over that, but I can't. Alright, oh, you got a nice little path. Yes, yeah, so I know there's a cliff down there somewhere. That's not the cliff we want. Alright, let's check the map, see where we're going. Oh, I'm going the wrong way, nice. I can get down to it this way at least. Is there a pathway through here? Seems to think there is. Ah, there we go. Oh yeah, it's the bushes that we can now clear. Nice. We love a shortcut. Oh, where's this cave? Straight up. Oh, it takes us over, does it? I'll figure out. Oh, this is where we start watching the sunset, isn't it? Oh, there's a natural bridge. So I'm sure there's a way down here. And yeah, it feeds the whole way through there. Let's get down our rope. There we go. Alright, we're close. We are close. I wonder if this happened to the guy before. Maybe that's who this is. Good old Goodwin. Hmm. Missing person, maybe. I don't know. Confused. <laughs> but, we are at the cave. And I think the best thing to do would be to leave it right here. As a spooky looking cave. Yeah, we can head deep into that in the next episode. But for now, I'm going to love you and leave you right here. So uh, thanks for watching. Massive thanks to the members supporting the channel. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed. Hopefully you stick around for the next one. Peace.